let us get back into Broken Sword 1. So like I said, I'll get myself comfortable. I have a beer ready. So let's go back to Ireland. Let's go back to the Irish. Let's have some fun and enjoy the continuation of Broken Sword 1. So we will quickly make sure. Because like I said, I had to exit the game to actually get my mouse to move. <laughs> So here we go. We're back into the broken sword. And we're back to the music. So yeah, let's drink the pint. Let's drink the pint. Drink a pint, cheers. The glass contained a dark liquid like molasses with a creamy white froth on the top keep drinking it cheers <sighs> somehow i'd managed to drink the thick sweet brew i felt strangely compelled to order another even though my every instinct warned me against it i'm kind of curious if there's Hi, a way I'm for Stobart, me, George Stobart, to get, hello there, Mister. Get... What can I do for you? Um, ask can about the castle. Can you tell me anything about the castle on the hill? The castle oh, I don't on know the much hill. About anything. You should ask Mister O'Brien here. He does joined up right. Miles Edward O'Brien. Would you be one of them history fellows yourself? I like a bit of That's history. Right. Professor Stobart, Miskatonic University. <sighs> You're an archaeologist. And you're asking us about the castle. Excuse me, Mr. O'Brien. The gentleman was talking to me. Yes, I was. How come you didn't leave with the others? I didn't know they'd gone until the landlord told me. Do you know okay. Professor Pegram? Do I know him? Do I know the good professor himself? Professor! No, I don't. I mean, oh. I know who he is, but I don't know him to talk to. Do you uh, know anything about side? Pegram's excavation? Only that he didn't have the right tools for the job. What he needed was shovels and a JCB. Pegram was digging for historical remains, not coal. Is that a fact? What the hell for? Is the science of archaeology hot? Boy. Understanding how people used to live by what they've left behind. One day archaeologists <laughs> might be digging up our remains. Imagine that, Mr. <laughs> O'Brien. I wonder what they'll find. Well... It won't be arrowheads and beakers. Fast food <laughs> cartons and favorite condoms, more likely. <laughs> so, Is it true that Pegram found a valuable gem? What? Yes. First I heard of it. Where have you been, Pat? Where have you been, Pat? <laughs> Forgot gem at the talk of every town from Loch Man to Ballydoon. Nobody told mm. me. So that just update. Oh, no, it's all right. So that's why he scampered. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, because he got the gem. He's like, it's mine. Village work at Go on. Dig. I tried it myself, but that high and mighty history man called me incontinent. What? Incompetent, maybe? I dug more holes than the rest of them put together. I think that's what he meant. Um, what about? Do you remember seeing Sean Fitzgerald at the dig? Hmm. Oh, let me see. Indeed. Him. I think <laughs> my brain box needs a spot of lubrication. <laughs> I ain't lubing it up for you, mate. Can no. I buy you a drink? You most certainly can. Give me a drink for my friend here. Who? Doyle? Has he conned you into buying for him? <laughs> Shame on you, Patrick. There we go. Again? Just a point this time, Michael. One point of round coming up. Ugh. Maybe he'll convince. He'll talk more to me if I do that. You see, that's kind of why. Do you remember Sean Fitzgerald now? Now. I can picture the scene as if it was only last week. Come to think of it. Because it was last week. It was only last week. <laughs> that's what I was waiting right. for. Him and a bunch of students. He was speaking with the boss man. Mr. Boss Man. I actually like that. Excuse you, man. Hello Keep there. Some... Uh, my name's George Stewart. Joe O'Brien. O'Brien. Nice I'm sure. Hey, O'Brien. Uh, can I help you? Before he became chief engineer of Deep Space Nine, or chief operations <laughs> of Deep Space Nine. 
What can you tell me about the castle, Mr. O'Brien? It's a fine sight now, isn't it? Dates back to the 10th century, you know. Most of the oh, existing building was it. added much later, of course. Or are the ruins open to the public? Oh, no, it's much too dangerous. Anyway, there's nothing of interest remaining. Pegram thought otherwise, didn't he? Ah, but it's not difficult to get them history boys excited, is it? Give them a bone to play with, and they're happy as puppies. Was What's it Pegram who tripod? dug up the tripod at the castle? The same man, no. if he wasn't his twin brother. No. And can you guess what he did with the tripod? He sent it to a museum in Paris. Yeah. I've seen it. Have Do you, you believe heard in the ghosts? of the Phantom? The Phantom! More than that. I've seen it. And let me tell you, it's a dreadful spectacle. So, so it's not just a local legend. There yeah. really is a Phantom of Loch Marne. Oh, no. I was talking about the Phantom of the Opera. Okay. Do you know where I can find Pegram? You're too late to meet that fella. Is he dead? Not that. But he's gone from the village. He was I on a bicycle. I fight with our esteemed host, I might add. Why is Pegram's departure upset the landlord? He's lost a paying guest. That's why. More than that, there's the question of an unsettled bid. Mm -hmm. Michael's seen red over the business, and I don't blame him. Feel sorry Can you for tell him. me more about the landlord? Mick yes. Leary? He's what you call a, a would-be sophisticate. The trouble is, his idea of sophistication extends as far as putting paper in the lavatory. <laughs> I never worked out why he did that. It's much too dark in there to read. That's true. Have you ever run your hand over the back of the door? The graffiti is written in braille. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Do you know where Pegram has gone? I'm sorry, but I don't. He okay. anchor in the dark and shipped out before the dark. Why did he do that? Who knows? No. Guilty conscience or a secret assignation. Whatever the reason, he'll not be missed in Loch Marne. Maybe now the fuss about the gem has died down. We can get back to Norman. Okay, so what ask can about you the tell gem. Me about the gem which Pegram found. Now there's a gem which should never have been taken. A man would have to be full of greed to carve no. that stone. What's your interest in the jewel? You're not a reporter, are you? No, no. Oh, no. No. Thank the Lord for that. Learned that mistake. No. Goodbye for now. Excuse me. Uh, yes, sir? Do you Show recognize the, the name on this card? No. No. Should I? Nah. It was a long shot. Okay. Um, Thanks. I think I have to talk to him again. The... No. Excuse God, how, many, how long can you keep sneezing for, man? You're going to blow your sneeze your brains out. Hello. All right. Let's see if Doyle I can get to talk me you about... definitely worked at the dig. Yeah, let's you say... You don't believe him, dear. Patrick Doyle is a moron and a scoundrel. Even so, oh, I'm gonna say loud, he saw yeah. you talking to Pegram. You can't prove that, mister! No. Um. Do you recognize the man in the... Uh, no. Look closely. He has a scar on his... No, I'm sure I don't know him. Okay. See you later. Mm, let's see, because I really need to get up to the castle. I really need to get into the castle, but... Okay. Speak to... Speak to a... Uh, Maguire. Hey, Maguire! What do you want to know? What do you want to know? I do you know about the gem? The gem? The magical gem? gem? That's right. It's been the talk of Loch Marne all week. You haven't seen the gem, have you? Hell no. I reckon Pegram made off with it. If I was him... I'd go to Amsterdam, chop it up, and sell it. He could be living the life of Riley instead of digging holes. <laughs> Are you sure Fitzgerald worked at the dig? Oh, yes. It was him, all right. Would I tell a lie? Well, yes. he denies it. I saw them together only last night. I wish you'd told me that sooner. What were they doing? Pegram gave Fitzy a box. He didn't look too happy about it. I knew it. But how am I going to persuade him to part with it? 
Break his fingers. Nah, I couldn't do that. Oh, I could. <laughs> Thanks for the offer, kid, but I'll try a more subtle approach. Chinese burns? Do you know where I could find Fitzgerald? He's inside, but you won't get no sense out of him. How no, come? we already know Is that. He drunk? He's like a frightened rabbit. A real bag, a of, bag nerves. of nerves. Boy, the fella's scared of his own shadow. Glass behind you! <laughs> What's Fitzgerald scared of? Every yeah. kid and everyone. So I shouldn't have any trouble getting him to talk? He's a pushover, but don't scare him too much. Try the soft touch. Butter him up a bit. See you later, kid. Okay, mister. Okay, so... I'm wondering if we can get... something on him. Like a bit of dirt on him or something. I can scare him with a book. Hey, look! <laughs> Hi. It's me again. So I see. What now? What now? Have you heard of the life under the sea? Do you think sea? Pegram's disappearance is due to the curse? Look at the facts. <gasps> he dug up the gem. He disappeared. Bingo. Bingo. It doesn't take a degree in mathematics to work that one out, does it? You don't have to be a smarty Pythagoras with a calculator. <laughs> I guess not. Pegram has run off with the gem. Yeah, he has. Uh... Trying to think... What I can do to... I have to go. Right. I'm really trying to think what we could do here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can we open up that panel with that? Maybe I can knock it. I tapped the plastic with the lifting key, but it was too strong to shatter. Okay. What about that wire? Could we get around it? No? Okay. Uh, what about the card? Slide it. Between the bits? No. Okay. I could do <laughs> Can we buzz him? Get a buzzer on him. <laughs> I was get him. Shake my hand. Hello. Shake my Hello. hand. It's a trick, isn't it? Damn it, you're right. I can't do that. <laughs> Damn anyone. it, you're right. Damn it. Hello. Um. McGuire says he saw you working at the dig. What's more, he saw you talking with Pegram. Mm, he's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. I knew this would happen. I knew I'd get caught. Just my luck. Grasped up by a delinquent and a dimwit. Okay, that's I a bit harsh. I need to talk to Professor Pegram, if he's still alive. What do you mean? Is he in danger? Yeah, you too, if I'm right. You're not from the Social Security. Hell no. What makes you think that? Well, uh, I was claiming benefit at the same time I was working for Pegram. <gasps> I'm not in a position to make judgment, Sean. Yeah. That's between you and your conscience. All yeah, okay. I want is to talk to Pegram about the gem. But he's not here! I know that. But he left that package with you, didn't he? What did Pegram find at the castle? The entrance to an underground chamber. It was filled with earth and rubble, and Pegram had us dig it out. We uncovered a secret room, a hidden chapel. Okay, so what else is there? Can you tell us more? Tell did us Pegram more! Did Pegram find the gem in the altar room? I don't know. He made us leave and wouldn't tell us why. Half an hour later, he came out. White as a sheet, he was. He closed down the dig and locked the ghost. and sent us all away. From the sound of it, Pegram had discovered more than just the gem. So where did Pegram go? I don't know. I swear it. He came to see me early this morning. Said he was leaving. Okay. He's just so scarish, isn't he? He asked me to give this package to a guy called Marque. <laughs> Marque. Okay. Check out this pass. Yeah. It's yours, is it? Not exactly. Do you recognize the name? Thomas Merlin. No. Okay. Never heard of him. Eh, it was worth a shot. Eh, 
and... Show me what's in the package, Sean. I, I can't do that. Why not? I promised the professor. <sighs> so what? The professor! You didn't have any qualms about your benefit scam. So where's the harm in taking a peek inside Pegram's package? You don't know these people! Nah, 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 I can't! Nah, 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 I don't nah. dare! Oh yes, you must dare! This is your I last dare chance to show me the package, Miss <laughs> Gerald. Right. I've Mental been patient with you. My right hand's been a twat recently. But he'll kill me! Who will? The man from Paris! Jack Marquet! Pegram told me if I gave him the package unopened, I'd hear no more about it. But if I double-crossed Marquet, I'd be dead. I'll deal with Jacques Marquet. Yeah, whoever he is. He's going to go check the watch. He's thinking. He's thinking about. Give the package to me. <laughs> no. Why should I trust you? I don't know who to trust anymore. He's gonna I run. Wish I'd never even heard of the Lockmarn gem. He's gonna run. We got a runner. We got a runner. He's run. Oh, and I'm like, oh, fuck's sake. Let's go after him. What the hell? McGuire's. Hey, I just seen a big red. Get out of here, McGuire. Come back when you're old enough. What's the lad howling about? A big red sports car. Sports car. be run over. Get out. Oh shit. Out. Get out. Noisy little tyke. But Maybe he you said should send that... out some medicinal brandy, Michael. Oh yes, and who's going to pay for it? Not me. <laughs> <laughs> me too, me. neither. Sh shit. Let's go, let's go, McGuire. We believe you. We believe you, McGuire. McGuire, tell us what I happens. I was telling the truth about Fitzy, mister. Okay, okay, calm down. Now tell me what happened. Yes. I was standing here, minding me own business. When I saw this beautiful red sports car coming up over the hill. Is this when it's got like heavy, me no, heavy Jack, music going on? I. And I going over to take a closer look. out of the pub and nearly knocks me on the ass. But the car just flies Intentionally. Out. It was too fast for poor old Fitzy. And hit him an awful wallop. He goes flying up on top. Jesus, says I. I thought he was a goner. Next thing, the driver hops out, and I couldn't believe my eyes. He took him away. He hit him he and was took him away. Like a bloody pixie. <laughs> a pixie driving a red sports car. That's amazing. <laughs> but. <laughs> I mean, oh, it's very serious. It's very serious. It's very serious. So it dresses Did a pixie. Did this pixie have a scar on his cheek? I couldn't see. He was wearing a stupid mask. Are you a special agent? Sorry to disappoint you, kid, but I'm not. Oh, I could have said I'm a secret agent, man. Whoa, but... Did King... Fitzgerald drop anything when he was hit? I didn't see. It all happened so fast. Oh, man. Oh, uh, God. So... See you later, kid. Okay, mister. Okay, mister. Right, so pa clearly the panel's now open, so we can do some of that. I pushed the switch down, but in doing so, it snapped off in my hand. <gasps> Oops. Um... It was impossible to... Re <laughs> okay, so... I kind of hope something... Can we look at the... It was an electrical plug attached. Can I do anything to it? You think? Excuse me? No car... Alright. Um...
<laughs> Excuse me. Uh, yes, sir. May I have another beer, please? Certainly, sir. Same again. Yeah, please. How uh. is this stuff made? That's the secret of the master brewer, sir. Each barrel is lovingly manhandled in time-honored fashion. Suspended on skillfully tied ropes of the finest hemp. Lowered into the cellar, utilizing the forces of original gravity. Like manna from heaven. Hmm. I'm sorry, but the pump appears to be broken. I could fix oh. it for you. I don't think so. This is a job for a professional electrician. Wow. Oh, well, at least the glass washer is still working. You're gonna jinx it's it. It's not my dear. <laughs> it just Guess so up. happens I'm an electrician. There you go. Check out my credentials. Well, no. Isn't that marvelous? <laughs> Here's a house bedeviled with faulty wiring of a wayward nature. Here's you, an electric man, with a little plastic card to prove it. Hmm. And that's just on the... I still want to see what you can do before I let you touch me beer pumps. You can make a start on the glass washer. Right, so... Unplug it. <laughs> right, he's letting us through. So that's a start. And when you finish that, will you take a look at the pumps? What about the wire? Yeah, try the wiring. Try the wiring. I replaced the fuse with a piece of wire. I knew it was dangerous, but I was desperate enough to disregard everything I knew about standard safety precautions. Excuse me, Mr. Leary. I fixed your glass washer, no problem. Bingo! And a blessing to all the saints. Until your pump burns down. On the house. Now, could you take a look at the beer pumps? Oh, I guess yes. so, but I'm not making any promises. If you can't fix them, I'll have a riot on me hands. The pumps are in the cellar, right? That's right. You'll find a flashlight down there somewhere. Cool! The violin music makes everything so much more better, doesn't it? What a dumb place to store a flashlight. A dark cellar. The yeah, only way where's I was the logic? Find anything down mm. there was to feel around. Can I feel everything? <laughs> oh dear. Try pulling that switch. Maybe we'll get some light. I pushed the lever and heard the grating of metal, but nothing appeared to happen. Okay. Okay, so... I pulled the lever and the bolt creaked back into... So... Let's see what we can do. Do I have any? Maybe I have to grab that ever piece of wire. Hello, Miss Riddick. Welcome into the stream. I hope you're having a lovely afternoon. How's my sister doing? I think I have to steal that string again. I can steal his drink. <laughs> Would that work? Nah, but it might. I'm gonna see if I can if I steal another one. He sneezed when he wasn't sneezing. That's just weird. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually really just getting sneezed on a lot. That's great. Oh, and I just remember my battery from my phone is about to die. So that probably... Oh, just... oh I can't grab the string. God damn it. Uh, two secs, folks. Just plug in my phone. Please don't disturb my stream. Bring us back. Thank you. Much appreciated for phone. phone being an ass. Right, so I'm definitely cannot steal that uh, string off him. Nope. Okay. So there must be something I can use. It was fine. Oh, as long as work was fine. 
Let's see if McGuire has anything. Hey, McGuire. What do you want to know? No. See you later, kid. Okay, mister. Okay, mister. Um. Let's see if I can. I doubt the matchsticks will do anything. Wait. It doesn't have any matches in it, does it? How can you try that? I tried to flip the switch with the lifting key. But. Okay. Hand buzzer? No. Okay. Um. Can I lift it with the grate? The workman's key was the obvious tool to use to open this trap door. It was specifically designed. Unfortunately, there weren't any holes in the trap door. Right. Doop -a doop -a doop. No, okay. So it's. When I pull the switch. Excuse you, mate. God, I hope he has like his. I'm just trying to think what I could do to get. Maybe if I pull the lever, then that would open f up the things up there. I pushed the lever and heard the grating of metal, but nothing appeared. Right. I've pulled it up, and there's nothing in here. So I think if I go outside now and try to pull up, maybe then I'll actually get it open. Possibly? <laughs> Oh, wait, no, wait. Can I pull on it? Would it open if I pull it then? You think? Ah, there you go. I lifted the trap door and an overpowering yeah, smell got of stale it. beer it rose from the cellar below. I looked down on a stone tiled floor, way too far to jump. Uh oh. Excuse me. There was a nasty feeling in my guts I usually associated with light it's opera. Calm. It was gone. What's the problem? Did you see what happened here a few minutes ago? What was that? A man was involved in an unfortunate accident. The accident. I didn't see anything. What about no. the boy? Well, he doesn't know anything either. The kid, well, you know how it is in these rural communities. Communities. Not enough <laughs> genes to go around. I prayed McGuire had the sense to keep his mouth shut. Yeah, keep your mouth shut. Was the yeah. guy hurt bad? He's been taken care of, but he thinks he dropped a small parcel. You didn't happen to find it, did you? If I had, I would have taken it to the police. Of course. Thank you. Oh, you're so creepy, pal. Oh, I did not like him. He always has that, My name is Khan. <laughs> kind of vibed it, doesn't he? Good McGuire, good McGuire. Keeping his trap shut. So now, if I go down in the cellar, I should be able to see where I'm going. Thank God. Right. Aha! And that's when we go, oh, find the flashlight. <laughs> then I noticed a flash of light. Something sparkling beneath the open hey, trap how's door. The going? It's going well, thank you very much, Sweatfish. How are you doing, buds? Pick up the gem. It was Pegram's gem, all right. A large, uncut blue stone. As I held it aloft, I realized the fascination it could command. I guess I was already under its spell. Did you find it? What? <laughs> Miguel! Whatever no, you were looking for! Uh, yeah. Listen, Maguire. I want you to keep this to yourself. No Oh, problem. no, I'm having some cola. I've had a beer, but... Just chuck us up a crate of lager! No way! You're not old enough! <laughs> we can sell it and make some make cash! Make some cash, man! Forget it, kid. I couldn't betray Mr. Leary's trust. I could. 
For sure. <laughs> that old misery guts deserves it. If you want to do me a favor, keep a lookout for that guy in the suit. Okay. But it'll cost you a pack of the chips. Pack oh, and chips. shout if you see that Ferrari. <laughs> I love, I, I like McGuire. I trash, but there was nothing useful there. The top of the morning. And that's, and that's spoiler sport. I actually said earlier on before you came on, Mr. Riddick, that we actually have been to Ireland when we were kids. But saw nothing I could use. Okay. What about the I looked among the cleaning materials, but saw nothing. It was a calendar with a faded photograph of a prize-winning car. God. Oh, hello, sir. You babysit just again. No, she actually miss. No, she is not. She just came on not long ago. Oh, wait a minute. The faucet creaked, coughed, and spewed out a stream of rusty-colored water. Ew. Yeah, that's what I said earlier on. That it was my uncle. Ke uncle gave you an Andy Catherine's wedding. So, question now becomes: Is there anything? Ooh, okay. Can I soak the towel? Ah. I held the towel under the faucet and soaked it with water. Question is, why am I soaking it in water? Is it just because I feel like it? Uh. Hmm. Okay, so. I shut off the faucet as tight as I could, but it kept on. But it kept on dripping, so. Hmm. <laughs> so you could go and bitch slap somebody with it. Yeah, that would be probably the best. But, so why do I pull this now? <gasps> I tried to pull the lever, but it wouldn't move with the trap door open. Right, so yeah, because that is definitely the lock lock. Okay. Um, something tells me... I need to get... Because I need to get up to the up the hay. That's what I need to do. <laughs> Got so tight. Right, let's try going up here. Okay. I'm gonna try. Je I'm gonna try Miss Riddick's suggestion. Throw the beer cloth at him. <laughs> Hi, it's me again. So I see. What now? What now? Have you any use for this towel? Whatever gave you that idea? Oh dear, oh dear me, no. Oh dear, oh dear, Hi, oh dear it's me, me again. No. So I see. What now? Uh, Did you Ferrari. happen to see a red sports car down on the road? I caught a glimpse of a flash of red on the hill and heard the racket. Sure, it was an awful noise. A sports car, you say? A Ferrari, to be exact. A racing car? And what was it doing here? The poor fella must have been lost. <laughs> the driver of the Ferrari was involved in an accident. Is that so? Yeah. Yep. He knocked somebody down outside the bar. What an idiot! How could a thing like that happen? He was traveling too fast. So mm -hmm. fast, he ran right under the car. I mean, the car was traveling too fast. But yeah. who'd have thought the idiot could have heard it coming? <clears throat> Maybe you know the guy who was hit by the Ferrari. His yeah. name is Sean Fitzgerald. Oh, I know him all right. That's me nephew, the idiot responsible for the stacking of my hay cart. Was he killed by the car? Oh, no. But he has been abducted. Well, that's a relief now. What? It's a relief that he's been abducted? No, Aren't you come going to on, look man. Aren't you nephew? What for? From what you say, it's too late. Well, you could report the matter to the police. Better not. Besides, what could they do? Well, they could mount a search. They have only the one bicycle between them. In a question <laughs> of superior acceleration, <laughs> I put me money on a Ferrari. <laughs> no, but you could so I think oh, no. you want to know exactly what Sean has gotten himself into. I'm not yeah. sure I want to know. But you're his uncle. His own flesh and blood. Yeah, you're right. Come on. But what can I do? 
If I'm not here to guard it, some idiot might try to climb the I'll haystack. guard it. What a moral dilemma. I'll guard Stay it. Stay here and guard this potentially lethal agricultural construction. Or to go off in search of the prodigal nephew, the very man responsible for said hazard. Yeah, I'll guard it. thinking about. Why, there's no problem. You're right. I'm here. Why didn't I think of it before? We'll demolish the haystack. <laughs> No, I'll... You don't have to demolish the haystack to go look for Sean. I'll stay here in your place and warn anyone who's silly enough to climb it. Marvelous! I think I should start me inquiries in the bar. Boy! He, he looks a bit like Chuck Norris, bar, didn't he? <laughs> to contemplate the stack of hay. And in doing so, up Humpty Dumpty's wall we go. Hum! The stack of hay stopped short of the top of the wall. Even if I Typical. stretched as far as I could, the wall was out of reach. What I needed was a slice or two of Alice's Wonderland. Or maybe just a sewer key to help with these matters. Don't you agree? I inserted the end of the lifting key in the mortarless crack and gave it a firm shove. It remained <clears throat> lodged in the wall, jutting out to form a step. Well, you know what they say, we step up into it. Crying! Hey! Oh, it's a very easy obstacle! Now we're in the castle! That's a very grumpy looking goat. <laughs> okay. I can see where this is going to go. Whoa! Fuck it, I'll just fucking moan my dude, like. Jesus, man, it fucking took a big gash out of me. Can I. Just the music again! Can I trick it? I'll have to try and figure out a way to get past it. <gasps> wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Could I put the towel into the trough? No? No, let's it take a look at the It was the fiercest, trough. meanest looking old goat I'd ever laid eyes upon. <laughs> Looks like an old man in the garden, eh? <laughs> hmm. Can I throw, can I throw the beer mat at it? <laughs> no, okay. Um, could I give it the pitcher? Do you want to eat a pitcher, Mr. Goat? It was a rusted piece of iron. Maybe part of a plow or something. The goat's movements were restricted by a halter tied to a metal post. Right. Okay. Can get it. Yeah, because if I move forward, I'll go. Boom! It goes back. Okay. Um. I know I gotta do some of that plow, but I can't get close enough. Can I get really? No, it's gonna tap me if I get too close. Wait for it. Yeah. Okay. Um. What about the squeaky? Look at this squeaky uh, red nose. No? Can I throw it at. No? Okay. That didn't work. Um... Now, I do remember something about this. But. I just can't remember now. Is there anything else around the room? Anything around here? Hmm. I'm just trying to remember. Oh, now that's a good question. How do we 
because you shuffle the, the plow and it gets stuck in the plow. I remember that bit. But how to do it? That's the other question. Hmm. Can I blind the goat? Hey, goat, do you want to be blinded? <laughs> Here's my business card, Mr. Goat. <laughs> Buzz, fucking goat, hey. Do you want a hanky? <laughs> oh, dear. Um, I'm honestly trying to remember how to get past this bit. There is no other bits, no. You have to walk one direction and click a run to the other side and the rope to make it shorter. You have to walk one direction and quickly run to the other s right. What you mean? Never say the rope. Oh, I can see the rope tangles around it. Right. And then quickly run to the other side to make it shorter. Because if I try to go for it now, I'm going to get stuck. See, he'll charge at me. Like that. Ah! Right, okay, you have to double click it. Right, okay. The rope by which the goat was tethered had become tangled on the old plowshare. Right. This is well, I double clicked it. Hey, goat. Hey, goat. Hey, Billy. <laughs> hey, the Billy. The fixed on me with an evil glare. It's Behind like, the yeah. malice and resentment, there was a cool intelligence. <laughs> How you doing, boy? I felt as threatened as I'd been by the assassin and his goons in Paris. <laughs> So the goat's like, you will get you. <laughs> no chance. <laughs> Sailor, goat boy. <laughs> I feel so happy. All right. Here we go. Thanks for the little help tip there, Dave. That was... Right. Same as coming back. Oh, there's something on the table there. Let's have a look. As I dipped my fingers into the soft white <gasps> powder, I realized what it was. Plaster of Paris. I'd used it in kindergarten to make casts of animal paw prints. Right, okay. What else is there? The sack was empty. What else is there on the table? The bench had probably been used by Pegram and his archaeological team. Right. So there's nothing else on there. Behind the altar was a carved panel decorated with animals, birds, and plants. And everything else in between. There was a pattern of five holes arranged on the wall. They'd been drilled there deliberately. Okay. There's, what's this? It was a statue which had fallen from its place on the wall. Five fingers of stone projected from the back of the carving. Can I pick it up? Or is it really heavy? It's really heavy. The statue oh. was too heavy to lift. It overbalanced into the sand. <laughs> oh, wait, yeah, so we'll lift it up. We'll Aha! So it left holes. As I so swung the stone upright, I noticed it had left a pattern of holes in the sand. Yeah. So then we use, I'm assuming we use this in the hole, don't we? Ah. I sprinkled the plaster on the sand until the holes were filled. And that's why we have the wet towel, because if you soak it, it should dry up, won't it? Aren't we a clever bee? Yay. I squeezed the towel as hard as I could. But it was barely damp. Ah, uh, we have to go back all the way up. Ah, uh, you take it the piss. We have to go all the way up. Ah, uh. <laughs> all right, Billy. 
It was like, <laughs> it scared me. Damn it. It's quite a track then. He's got some mad skills, George, for going backwards doing that, eh? I appreciate you being here, Mice Head. You're still here. That's very good. Like I said, this is the longest time you've been <laughs> been watching. Oh, Maguire. Gotta love Maguire. Oh shit, he's there. Are we gonna get away with us sneaking past? Quick, 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 before he goes. Oi, shouldn't you be watching the haystack? I, I was. Boom, boom. Do, 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 But I never realized that we would have to. The faucet. Yeah, can we just. Soak it. Right. I help. Fast as you can, George. Fast as you can. As fast as we can. No. <laughs> Everybody listen to the tunes. Up we go. Up the hay, hey, 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 hiddly ho, up we go. It's so, it's so good getting back into this, like, because then at least then we can say we've done one and two. Hi, Billy. Bye, Billy. <laughs> That's what I was looking for. Right, quick, quick, George, quick, George. Use your towel of wetness on the, on the clay. For God's sake, right. So I'm like, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, come on. You should be plenty soaked. Yay! The trickle of water was quickly absorbed by the plaster. I'm not gonna do it again, are we? It's not. I eased mm. the solid piece of plaster from the sand. Underneath, it had formed a perfect copy of the statue. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't take a genius to know to put it in there. The hardened plaster cast fitted snugly into the five matching sockets. There was a soft thud. Foot. Then, silence. Ooh, here we go. It's a cave, boy. Cave of wonders. Well, before we do, save it in case I screw up. Because I've got a bad feeling that things could go really pear shaped. And I've got the torch! Yes! Hello! Hello! Mon Fock Mon Mon Fockton. Back in Nico's apartment. Really? <laughs> so, where did you stay last night? At in a cave. I got to drinking with Doyle and a couple of the guys. Doyle. That explains why you look so ill today. Did you get any sleep at all? Not much. I had to share the room with another guy. Did he hmm. snore? Hardly. He was dead. Then we still didn't take the, the guy up. Yeah. To help bail out the cellar. The cellar was flooded? <gasps> yeah, I left it on. some idiot had left the faucet running. And you say Pea Grammar has disappeared? <laughs> Without a trace. A Doyle but rules! my visit wasn't a complete waste of time. Shit! I totally forgot I Pea actually Grimm's left gem? the tap on. <laughs> the Templar's gem. Whoever Jacques Marquet is, he's in for a disappointment. Jacques Marquet? He's the guy who should have collected the gem from Fitzgerald. 
What are your plans? I want to find out who, Hi. what, or where Montfaçon was. All I've got to go by is the name and a picture of a hanged man. You know, the hanging around in the situation, isn't it? Let's take so, another look at the manuscript. Right, so... That's the gem that Pegram found in Loch Marn. That's the tripod in the crew museum. So, we want to know about... There's a guy with a sword and a bull. Between them is a gem. Right, come here. There's a guy working on a loop. The night scroll bears a phrase in Latin. And that was the teachings, teachings you'll you be will be enlightened. Can we get Labano to... <laughs> hey, Nico, look, Nico, look at the a a pan full of plaster. plaster. Yeah. Why is it that men never really grow up? What's your problem, sister? Your hmm. pocket stuffed with useless junk like little boys. You mm -hmm. never know when useless junk might come in handy. Exactly. Actually. I can't sit here all day, much as I'd like to. Okay. Don't forget to look for Lobino at the Kron Museum. We tried, and why but... don't you see if Rosso has heard anything? Okay. Anything else I can do for you while I'm out? Shopping, a trip to the laundromat? Just take care Couple of yourself. Throw, a, throw pillows, a TV news reporter. What do you think? I love that comment, Bo. O'Doyle rules! O'Doyle rules! That was from Billy Madison. No, it was... Yeah, it was Billy Madison, actually. And that's the granny-ish kind of woman that looks like from... Looney Tunes once again. Just knitting. Just knitting with her flowers. Who flowers? Right, so let's see if we can see Inspector Moo. That's Moo! <laughs> yes! Oh god! More funny moments with Mr. Moo! Moo Moo Kazoo! Let's see what he's got. He's so funny. If you guys haven't seen the first episode of this of me doing this, you'll laugh how stupid he is. He is quite funny. Think of the dead guy was holding his breath. Ah, it was great. Monsieur Stobart, n'est-ce pas? That's correct. You remember me. The Yay. retention of such data is part of my duty as a gendarme. That is our crime is fought through attention to detail, not intuition. Yes, hmm. sure. Yeah. Can I can I speak to you? Is Rosso here? Yes, yeah. he is. You wish to speak to him? Yes, please, we will. Yes, I do. One moment, monsieur. Stobart is here to see you, monsieur. Did he say what it was about? No, monsieur. No. Very well. Hmm. Hello, Rosso. Hi, Inspector. Remember me? But of course, Mr. Stobard. My mind is a well-ordered faculty. A mental Clever classification word, faculty. system that's the envy of the Bibliothèque Nationale. No Ooh. tricks, mark you, monsieur. Just exercise. Just as our muscles waste through inactivity, so our minds decay. But there is no need. If only people would learn to exercise their wits daily. If he was trying to impress me, it worked. Yeah. He was pompous and patronizing, but he had style. He had style, yeah. Eh bien, if you called about the bombing... He is like Poirot, indeed. Investigations have been closed. Oh. But have been taken off the case. Oh. What about the murder, the dead guy? Yeah. It is out of my hands. Moroso, no! I'm gonna ask him, but he's my what reading. Was that psycho detective oh, yeah. business you did in the cafe? Psycho. It is my theory that the passions evoked in violent crimes create ripples in the ether, invisible to all but the possessor of a highly developed and receptive mind. Mm -hmm. I'm impressed. Can you bend spoons too? I didn't think a man of your obvious <laughs> intelligence would stoop to mockery. No, I'm not mocking. Just... I've had personal experience of the power of the mind. I used to get ignored at parties until I read a book that changed my life. Oh, really? God, George, what book what was, was it called? called? Hypnotism for Fun and Profit. 
He looked at me as if I <laughs> farted at a funeral. The power of mesmerism is a rare gift, not a party trick. <laughs> I love it. Right, Axel, let's ask him about... Have you heard of Professor Pegram, Pre the archaeologist? Pegram, yeah. Molly Pegram, the second son of Lord Barclay Pegram. I don't know. I only read about him in a magazine. Hmm. So much for the efficacy of rehabilitation. What has he done this time? He made an important archaeological find in Ireland. Do you know Pegram well? I have connections yeah. with the family, but I wouldn't say I knew him at all. Is his name really Molly? Molly Folly. Not. That was the nickname he was given at school. Oh, all God. his friends and acquaintances know him as Molly. But, but why? Oh, Do tell you know a bit of villains. Thugs called Flap and Flap Guido. And Guido I is have a known weasel. those two since they graduated from special school. Flap oh is God. a nasty piece of work, but Guido is the real brains of the partnership. He looks Where like the weasel from them? Who Framed Roger I Rabbit. Them out front of the hotel. The leader. Uber. I was doing a impersonation of him earlier. You got a problem with that variant? Yeah. And then. Um, Ever heard of a guy called Marquet? Jacques Marquet? Marquet. Yeah. I know the name well. No, he does. He has a record for suspected blackmail, kidnapping, arson, and Pardon art me. theft. An all-rounder, huh? How mm -hmm. come he's on the loose? His bravado is matched only by the courtroom skills of his attorney. Okay, so... Don't you want to know what I found out about the killer? I told you, monsieur, the case is closed. I have Shame. washed my hands of the whole affair. Then I'll have to continue my investigations without your help. No. You must forget the business of the clown completely. Well, he's a Go pixie now that drives a Ferrari, toys. so... Stobard. Okay. You're not gonna try any of that psychic interrogation on me, are you? Do you find the thought of my probing distasteful? Let's just say I'd rather you didn't. I've got more doubts than doubting Thomas when it comes to mysticism. Too bad. I think you would make an interesting subject under controlled regression. The day I let anyone mess with my, my mind yeah. hasn't dawned I don't yet. want anyone to mess with my goddamn head in real life. Jesus Christ. My head's a mess up. So long, Inspector. Right. Okay. So... With that being said, let's quickly speak to Moo and make sure everything is done with Moo. Excuse me. What do you want now? I just want to talk to you. You know, Flip and Flap. Assault. Sorry, yes, Flip and <laughs> Where is the victim? I'm the victim. I've been harassed by a pair of thugs. I see. And where did this alleged assault take place? Outside the Hotel Ubu. They I mean, you guys would have loved the hotel there earlier on. Could you we describe met a very the suspect, crazy you English see? lady. One looked like a gorilla, and Ooh. the other looked like a weasel. Their <laughs> names are Flap and Guido. Boom. <laughs> I'll Boom. get them this time. What are you going to do about Flap and Guido, Sergeant? I'm going to bust them, monsieur. For years I have been hoping to pin something on that pair. Now's my makes chance. Me feel good. I'll show them. And the inspector. Thanks, Sergeant. Thanks for taking me seriously. Yeah. I'm only doing my duty, monsieur. So Moo is a good guy. Moo is a do you know really a man good named guy. Khan? He's a shifty looking Gah. guy with a scar on his left cheek. No, monsieur. Has this man any connection with the bombing of the cafe? Yes. yes. I believe Khan was the name he used when he hired the clown costume. Uh, Have you heard of a man called Marquet? Yes. He used to be known as the Mole of Mamad. I heard he's been hospitalized, probably by one of his rivals. Oh. So he's at the hospital? Which hospital what? was Marquet yeah. taken to? The More info. Agamayak Clinic in the Avenue de yes! Hérisson. Uh, we got another one! Yes, that's more Why info. Why is Marquet known as the Mole of Montmartre? Because he lived in Montmartre, I suppose. Yeah, but why the Mole? I don't know. Maybe uh, he thank ruined you so much people's for the follow. Homes. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining us here on Broken Sword 1. More the merrier. Right, so... Let's say, well, we've got a bit more of a clue. See you later, Sergeant. I love it. We've got more. We've got more going on.
Okay, dokey dokes. So, we'll go to the ah, Musea Chrome. Let's see if we can find this, find Lavano, because I've been really getting annoyed with Lavano. We have not seen Lavano yet. Mm hmm. Right. Where's Lobano? Well, the Thanks. Great title. Classic title game. Original version. Are you I love it. Well. That's me. You want my autograph? The autograph? No. Yeah. Egotistical here. You may be able to help me. Elp. My name is George Stobart. <laughs> Elp. I'd like your professional opinion. Well. Okay. Shoot. No, but you're very welcome to join us here in our adventures. Uh, it's very nice to have you joining us on the channel. And like I said, we do have links and stuff. So if you want to keep up with the escapades of what we are doing, you are more than welcome to check out. We will say... Does what the about... name Montfasson mean yeah, anything Montfasson. Sure, it was the most grisly spectacle in Paris until the revolution. A public toilet? Montfaucon was the place of execution for many thousands. A dark temple of death, with row upon row of arches, each one framing a grim exhibit. Scores of rotting corpses swung on creaking rope, while the crows devoured their flesh. That explains the image of the hanged man. Right, I found a okay. reference to Montfaucon in Ireland, in a village called Lochmarn. Lochmar. Great place! That's where Pigram was digging. That's right. He'd left the excavation before I arrived. Mm. Hello there, welcome. Welcome, guys, welcome. I imagine when he said about the crows, are they just like what's going on with the UK right now with the taxes and everything going up? I just, it's, there's this game I remember I've been playing, and every time you do, like, collect resources, I just think of tax! Tax! That's, that's, that's all I've got in my head. So he knows the prof he knows. Do you know Pigram? Uh, Pigram. Well? Pigram. Not really. I met him at a conference. Oh, okay. Maybe I not. I would have liked to talk to him in depth, but I didn't have time. When was this? Oh, uh, back in the summer, uh, July, I think. The second week of July? Maybe. Yes. Yes, it was we got uh, just before one. Bastille Day. So Pigram yes! was in Paris at the same time as the other ah. victims. Pardon? There we go then. Victims of what? Thank you so much, uh, uh, Just thinking one. Thank aloud. you so much for the follow. You're very much welcome to the web. Thank you so much. It's very much appreciated. All your support is very appreciated, guys. So let's, um, next question. Because I, I prefer Labano in the second one because he's like, yes, good luck, Zodzi. He is, he is very up his own. But really, and he, he's a bit of a creep, but he's a funny creep. So, but then again, this is the first game before they did the second one. So, yeah, that makes sense. Where was the site of Montfaucon? To the northeast, near the Canal Saint-Martin. But there's nothing there now. The old gibbet was torn down during the revolution. I like some of, like, I like some of the things that like, talks about the Templars and everything like that. Yes! It, there is a lot of interesting things one. about this game. Yes! Which, fuck, I'm getting all these people coming into this thing. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Very much appreciate. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, I have. Yes, I have. It's It was years ago when me and my sister back in the day were... Oh, God. Like, when I'm early 20s. <laughs> when PC Gamer demo discs were around and everything like that. We had, like, multiple times where... We played the second one, and we played the first one, and I remember it being on the PlayStation 1, and it was so long ago when I last played this, and that's why I kind of went, you know what, I do streaming, I do a lot of comedy stuff, and we kind of narrate a lot of things and have a bit of fun with it. It's actually maybe worth kind of dropping in and do a stream of this, because we're actually, after we're finished this one, because we did the second one uh, less than maybe three or four weeks ago. Um, yeah, demo discs, fucking nineties. Come on, nineties. <laughs> All I keep, I, I'm sorry, I'm gonna make this observation again for anyone that hasn't been in here earlier on. The security guard, as he's walking about, do you not just get that symbolism of Popeye when he actually stops stealing and actually is wandering? Like he's got, hey, let's go, let's go, let's go. All he needs is the pipe, 
and go like, I'm full of spinach. I, I can't help myself. I, I just see it in him as he's walking around the area. But that being said, uh, back to like, yes, we've been playing. I, I played this very long time ago. And like I said, back, well, we're using the GOG version of this game. And the same with what well, we did it through the second one as well. So, like I said, we're trying to get through most of the story today. We might do this bit and the hospital and see how far we go. And then, like I said, I've got a stream plan for later on today, tonight as well, in the UK time. But we'll talk about that later in the, and possibly the next intermission or uh, at the end of the stream. But let's keep going. So let's keep asking Labano what he's going to, let's ask him a bit more about their turn. What can you tell me about Philippe Lebel? Oh, Philippe de Bell. He was responsible for the extermination of the Knights Templar. I know that, but why was Philip so hot to get rid of them? Mostly because he wanted to get his hands on their treasure. He had an enormous debt and a lifelong war with England to fund. The trouble was the Templars were a highly respected holy order. Holy enough to not, go, not to be worrying about credit card debt, but hey, <laughs> what a rock your boat, I suppose. If the Templars were so powerful, how did this Philippe dude wipe them out? Philippe! <laughs> By underhanded, dishonorable means, of course. The Pope was Clement the Fifth, a Frenchman. Frenchman? Huh? Handy for Philippe. Fetch <laughs> had nothing to do with it. He was Philippe's puppet, planted to further his political ambitions. Okay. Philippe wanted the wealth of the Templars and used Clement to get it. Okay, okay. So Sounds... what was Philippe's plan? What happened? Sealed orders were sent out all over France, not to be opened until the appointed day. That day was Friday, July 13th. Very unlucky That's day. That's the origin of our superstition regarding that date. Mm -hmm. At dawn, throughout the whole of France, the Templars were arrested. It Shit. was the biggest bust in the history of the world. Oh boy, well, that's perfectly timing then. What happened to the Templars after their arrest? Philippe was out for blood, so he handed the Templars over to the Inquisition. Not surprisingly, they confessed to a sensational and sordid list of blasphemy. And is that when they like got what? burned? Well, like, what's oh, the sort of things you read about in the gutter press? Devil worship, lewd sexual practices, <laughs> spitting on the Holy Cross, that kind of thing. Well, that must have given their lawyers some headaches. Whether or not the accusations were true, this was not good publicity. Most of the charges were probably cooked up, but so were the Templars, literally. <laughs> Hundreds of them were found guilty of heresy and flame grilled at the stake. Just what they I said when we were reading the, the manuscript. So that, but then the irony is, since George is a lawyer, so that's kind of, that's kind of funny that he's like, yeah, the lawyers must have had a headache back then. <laughs> I really like that, that's a nice touch, because like I said, George is actually one of my favourite characters in the first two. I really enjoy his, uh, his wit and stuff. Uh, they must have had a, oh, I mean, I, oh, there was a, what was his name? Flap, you missed it earlier on, that. I forgot about his voice, and he's like, yeah, uh, can I, can I uh, bust him up? And as soon as I went like, who? Huh? He actually went, who? Huh? And I'm like, oh my god, yes! So I have to clip that, because it was so funny, because when I asked him questions, it was like, oh, uh, do you know this man? He's like, no, I don't know him. The, no, you just missed him. And he's like, and, I, and he actually said the almost exact kind of way I do, because I do voice, voices as well, so... It's quite, uh, it was quite funny to be, oh my god, that's exactly how he sounds. On the rarest time I've done voices and just summed up somebody from years ago, I don't remember what he sounded like. It was fucking bang on, and I absolutely loved it. So I'll definitely go back and clip it. It was so funny. So, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, sorry, Lamino. But uh, surely continue? Philip had no proof of his charges against the Templars. A man will admit anything under torture. The Inquisition fabricated some nonsensical demon called Baphomet and then suggested to their victims that this was what they worshipped. But they didn't have to agree. 
The record show a Templar coming to trial with both feet burnt off. S -s 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 Fragments of flesh oh, and charred bones falling burned. Burned from the stamps. What would you not admit to to stop such torment? So there was no truth at all in the Baphomet accusations? Not a shred. Almost every victim described the idol differently. No, Baphomet never existed outside the sick minds of the Inquisitors. Very inquisitive. Oh, thank you so much for the subscribe, by the way, Sonic Child. As I was going to do my Stanley gun, subscribe, excess, excelsior. Welcome to the actual stream this afternoon, good sir. We are playing Broken Sword 1, of course, and of course, later on this evening at round about 8 p.m. UK time, we will be playing Arkham Asylum later on. But like I said, we will continue this direction because I've had a lot of people jumping into the our conversation today, which is very, very welcoming. So let's, uh, Labano is still telling us a bit more about the Knights Templar here for the catch up. We are trying to find out more about the manuscript. So we are at the very pinnacle point to get the tripod that's sitting right in front of us that we can actually almost grab like a whoosh, and then wish we could run away with, but we can't right now. So in that being said, we also had to go to the hospital that, yeah, George is not ill, but we just have to meet this guy that is there. So, we'll so continue Philippe asking stole questions. the Templar's riches, huh? Oh no, they weren't stupid. The king's troops marched first on the temple in Paris, then to the Templar home port at La Rochelle. There was no trace of the treasure, and the fleet of the Knights Templar had set sail. Arr, night now we're on to the manuscript. I'd like your opinion on a medieval manuscript. Vraiment, do you have it with you? No, no of it's course too not. Fragile. Don't be silly. Yeah. And besides, there are certain people who'd stop at nothing to get their hands on it. Well, you look at like a weirdo. Uh, do you have a copy of the text? There isn't much, only a few Latin phrases. And you know it's I was Latin kind as of well. hoping you'd help decipher the pictures. Without seeing the manuscript, uh, that's a tall order. Just tell me one thing. What does the image of two men riding on the same horse suggest to you? The Low Knights budget. Templar. Does the Templar Why? seal appear on this manuscript? I'd love to see that for myself. Oh, I'm going to drop Nico in the it. The manuscript is being looked after by a friend. Oh, in God. Paris? Yeah. Not far from here, in fact. Well, uh, just give me the address and I'll uh, come around and take a look. I'm not so sure about that. Maybe I should check with her first. Uh, yeah. Female friend? Yeah, she's oh, Of course woman. he was like, Maybe it was my imagination, but I noticed a predatory look in his eye. Suddenly, <laughs> this friendly historian had turned into the big bad wolf. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? Big bad wolf. Thanks for right. your help, Andre. You're welcome. Can I... Actually, maybe I should ask the security guard, is there a telephone anywhere? No, there probably isn't a telephone to begin with. So we'll have to go back... Oh, well, actually, I'll tell you what, what we could do is go to the hospital first, and we'll do... Revolution games exceed themselves with this game. Oh, Beneath the Steel Sky and the Broken Sword 2, they're very good games, but the level above Fantastic Story and Atmosphere, I will totally agree with you on that, because it is very, that story bias-based, and it is really compelling. I mean, it's like, you don't get much games nowadays that... That has a good story within it. The old building managed to retain some of its original grandeur, but the modern additions look like a baseball cap on a statue of a medieval saint. <laughs> the witty observations. Love it. So, we'll quickly say, success with the GOG version, you never know what could happen. There was no sign of the crew of the ambulance. So, I guess we're gonna go ring ourselves in, going, Hello, I have a bit of a <laughs> cold. Everything's still going. Right. Hi, like I says, my name's... We will quickly chat. Like I says, we were, just, we were so messed up and confused about what was going on there. Pleased to meet you, sir. Call me George, if you like. Like, you please. Sure? Like, Bonnie. Yeah, many... Buddy. So... <laughs> At least we could do one thing do you know here. Alright, so we'll get to... 
Like I said before, later. we're so Hi. rudely interrupted. Speak to the receptionist. Excuse so, so me. maybe I can actually be honest and actually say, no, I'm, yes, uh... Yes, sir. Oh, it's happy, sir. Oh, the right, there goes the guy going, da 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 no one gets to see Marquet. So unless you can prove you're a relative or a close acquaintance, you're wasting your time. Can you here. prove who you are? It's like it's parcel force all over. It's definitely parcel force of the royal meal. Can you prove who you are? Well I mean God's sake, that sounds like a really crazy freaking uh, thing. So Has Marquet we... had yeah. a visit from a pair of gangsters? Typical I gangsters. Hope not. Can you describe them? A thin One, guy yeah. who looks like a weasel and is friend <laughs> a gorilla. Sounds as if they escaped from a zoo. Yeah! <laughs> One would think they escaped from a zoo. <laughs> I like Has Marquet it. been visited by a man in a clown costume? Oh no. You haven't seen a man in disguise? Well, there's Theodore the Bear. He comes every Thursday to entertain the children. Personally, Only a bunch I of furs think he scares them half to death in that crummy old bear suit. If I was stuck on my back with tubes in every orifice, he's the last person I'd want to see. Yeah, especially if you're going to hell. <laughs> Sorry. Sense of humor. The sense of humor, people. Sense of humor. That's how we go. Right, so... Can I show Look at this ID pass. So you're Merlin. Marquet's <sighs> been asking for you. For me? Oh. Yes. He was shouting your name when they brought him in here. Oh. Now, let me see. He I've was on ward progress. B12, as I recall. Oh, he's being transferred to... Oh dear. He's on ward J2. That's... J2? Nurse Grendel's ward. Who the hell is Nurse Grendel? What's so bad about Nurse Grendel? She runs she that evil? ward like a South American prison. Keeping a well-disciplined ward isn't a crime, is it? Well-disciplined? In the discipline and punishment hmm. stakes, she'd whip the butt off the Marquis de Sade. Everything, I mean <laughs> everything, is done to a strict routine. Six o'clock, alarm call. Six ten, bowel movements, and woe betide anyone who doesn't have a result. Those patients of hers are like Pavlova's dogs. She sounds like a real nightmare. Barking mad, and she sounds some. like. Is she running the Shawshank Redemption or oh, the Shawshank Prison or something? Jesus Christ. If Nurse Grendel is that bad, how come the authorities tolerate her? Yeah. She's like part of the furniture. Oh, you mean she's been here a long time? No. I mean there's not a man in this clinic who hasn't brawled out on her. I was beginning to get the picture. This woman Ooh. was jealous, with a big green capital J. Okay, so... How do I find Nurse Grendel's ward? Down the corridor on the left, turn right at the senior consultant's washroom. Right again at the executive coffee lounge. Bare left past the administrator's sauna. And right. turn left at the end. That's J2. And good luck. Um. Thanks for your help, ma'am. Can I press to say I do not take in any of those directions? <laughs> I did not take any of those directions. I'm like, what? <laughs> oh dear, this is not going to end well. This is not going to end well. As I turned the corner, I God. saw the source of the hellish noise which echoed I was wondering the where that noise was. It was an industrial polishing machine with an odd-looking guy in tow. Yeah. He looks like he's totally checked out. Can we get some water? I see the plug! Shall I pull it out just to be mean? Maybe yeah. the face of the unaccountably happy domestic had made me unduly suspicious. I mean, I knew it was only my imagination. 
but the water tasted, well, peculiar. Wait. George? No, George, I was telling you to pull like that <laughs> just to piss him off. Can we can we do that? To stop that horrendous noise? It took a while to turn off, like. As I tugged the plug out of the socket, the polishing machine coughed, spluttered, and died. Rest in peace, you annoying Mr. Machine. Shiny! What's wrong, pal? Mr. Shiny? Uh, George, don't just stand around. Don't shut... Don't stand around waiting for him. What are you doing? Can I not interact? Open the gate. Open the door. Quick, quick, quick. Yes! Grab the coat! Put it in your pocket! Oh no, put it on! Hey! Hmm. Dr. Stobart. Dr. Stobart, I guess. Yeah, I'm a good doctor. God, can we just turn that off? Jesus Christ. It's a horrible man. A few minutes later. After getting lost. Yeah, I got. Actually, talk to him. I know that he's a weirdo, but maybe he might help us. Hello. What's that? I said What's hello. That? Oh, hiya. I'd like to talk to you for a minute. That's what I thought you said. Don't look so down in the mouth. No matter how bad things seem, I never let life get on top of me. Oh, yeah? What's your secret? Why, it's easy. All you have to do is smile. And whistle this little tune. You know Always what? look if on you start the bright side of life. It's a deal. Could you tell Do me you know where about? I'd find a patient called Marquet? No, I'm not allowed on the wards with Mr. Shiny. Mr. Shiny. Would Mr. Shiny be your polishing machine by any chance? Please don't call him that. He's more of a friend than a machine. I've had Mr. Shiny for three years, and he's never let me down once. Right, How so... How come you got so attached to a polishing machine? Because he has I no friends, I asked you not man. to call him that. <laughs> he's got a name, you know. Uh, yeah, Mr. Shiny. It's just that... You think it's odd, don't you? No, I, uh... Well... I don't mind. The rest of the staff think I'm twisty. I heard them. Snorking behind me back when I gave Mr. Shiny his weekly pull through. Whatever you've got with this metal mop foot is probably a fine and noble thing. It is. Say, it's not every day I meet someone as crazy but, as me. Well, you're talking to a crazy man himself. Have you Have seen you a seen weasel and a, and a girl running around? Have you seen lurking about in the quarters? <laughs> no, sir, I haven't. But I've got nothing to worry about. What's that, Mr. Shiny? You take good care of the rascals, I'll bet you would. <laughs> With a friend like him, I've no fear of oppressors. It must be a great comfort. He is. Oh dear. So, do you know do you the know nurse? A nurse called Grendel. Grendel sure the Grendel. Is she on duty today? Yeah. End of the corridor, Ward J two. Thank you. Thank you so much. See for you that. later. Yeah. So see if I can talk to a few minutes later. All right. So do I go that way? Or am I still stuck in here? A few minutes later. Ah, crud. This time I'm going the right way. Yay! Okay. Uh oh. Good afternoon, Doctor. Oh, hi. Hello. Is this Ward J2? Yes, sir. The patient's are ready for your inspection, Doctor. 
Uh, thank you, nurse. Well, who's first? Monsieur Croquet in bed two. What's his problem? He's been complaining of loss of consciousness. You'll need this, doctor. Oh, will I? What do I need? What do I need? She gave me a long, narrow metal box and a stunning smile. Thanks. Okay. Hi, I'm Dr. Stobart. <laughs> Hello, Doctor. The nurse Hello, told doctor. me you keep losing consciousness. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I've had the problem as long as I can remember. It's a real out-of-body experience. <laughs> like death, but not so conclusive. Okay, I see. that's... How long does it last? Just a fraction of a second, <laughs> and then I recover. I might not have been a doctor, but I mm. was formulating a diagnosis all the same. <laughs> this guy <laughs> was nuts. I know exactly what you mean. It's known in the medical field as... blinking. Is it serious? Of course it isn't serious. It's perfectly <laughs> natural. But just think. Two seconds every minute? Why, <laughs> that's almost half an hour every day. Two weeks out of every year spent in total darkness. Shit, I don't he's have done time the math. To to this <laughs> Do you know what this piece of equipment is? No, I. Okay. Which bed is Marquet in? <laughs> he's round the corner, in solitary. What's the matter with him? I don't know, but the men who brought him in were wearing masks and rubber gloves. Oh, hey, geez. you're a doctor. <laughs> how come you don't know? We doctors don't know everything. Then how come you act like you do? Because we are trying to be professional. Has Marquet had any visitors? Nah, <laughs> neither have I. That's the worst thing about being in hospital. You feel like the rest of the world has abandoned you. Well, you know how it is. Life, life goes, goes on. Uh, uh, life Thanks finds for those a way. comforting words. Right. Well, goodbye. Thanks, Doc. Let's check this guy out. It was a device used for me. Hello, anybody home? Who are you? <laughs> My Who are name you? is Dr. Stobart. And I'm here to steer you down the rocky road to recovery. Dr. Monroe, that's what doctors so there's no do. cure for what I've got. Your problem is you stayed in bed too long. Are you Why? sure you're a qualified doctor? You better believe it. No. I'm going to take your blood pressure. Why? I'm a doctor. It's my job. My job. I'm going to take your blood Why? I'm a doctor. What's your impression no. of Nurse Grendel? She's a very efficient young woman. Efficient? Very young. You make her sound like a vacuum cleaner. What, I she sucks? <laughs> the woman in reception described Nurse Grendel as a monster. Well, that's simply not true. She's quite strict, but that's her job, isn't it? Yeah, You've I got suppose. to have discipline in a place like this. Right, what can so... you tell me about Marquet? He's the man in the private room, isn't he? Yes. That yes, room he is. was mine before I was tossed out like a common squatter. Squattery do. Do you know what's wrong with Marquet? They won't even say what's wrong with me. Tell me, Doctor. What's your opinion? Uh, oh, I it's wouldn't too ask that. To say. <laughs> but I've been here for three months. Only three months. See you later. Right. I'll talk to the nurse. Uh, could you take a look at the client in bed number three now? His name is Eric Sopmarsh. What's his problem? He's delirious. He just now came out of theater. He's recovering from major surgery. I'll have him okay. up and about before you can say, Lazarus, get out of your bed and walk. What a great phrase. I just... Wait, I just spoke Hi. to him, though. Me again. I'm going to... Why? I'm a doc. Why? 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 That's what Do you like. recognize the man in this photograph? No, Doctor. A cold... Really? He's a dead ringer for my bank manager. 
Of course, <laughs> Mr. Soames hasn't got a scar, and he doesn't come from the Middle East. His hair's a lot green. Otherwise, it's just like him. Remarkable. Very interesting. See you later. Right. Take his blood I, pressure. I, I'm going to take... Why? I'm a doctor. <sighs> why? See you later. Just why? 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 Oh, I don't know. Am I even going to get close enough before she starts yelling at me? Doctor! What is it? What now? You haven't taken my blood pressure. Because every time I ask you, you're like, why? Why? There you go. Seems fine to me. You're not doing it right. Of course I am. No, you're not. Dr. Monroe never did it like that. Air I can't down. take a satisfactory reading while you're excited like this. I'll come back later. Right, so I need to find... I think I'm going to have to find the assistant. The, do the trainee doctor and, men and use him to do it. Let's do that. Let's do that, people. Let's do that. That would be the bottom one, wouldn't it? It was the bottom one I took, wasn't it? Right. Talk to... Posh Doc. Posh Doc! Hi, my name's George Stobart. Aha! Just the man. You must be the new boy. New boy? Uh, yeah, I must be. Well, uh, stop wandering about and make yourself useful. Bunny, come here, boy. Boy? <laughs> I see no boy. This is Benoit, my nephew. Ah. Can I trust you to look after him? Do your own babysitting, Gramps. Who do you think you are, anyhow? The I chief. am Felix Hagenmeyer. Um, may I say what an honor it is to meet you in person, sir. You are on my medical wall of fame. Right up there with Pastor and Leary. Leary? Really? I look on it as a privilege. No, an honor to look after your nephew, sir. He is fresh out of medical school. Yes. It will open his eyes to see a real doctor on the job. I'll bet. Good. Show him around. Let him see some real suffering. Do we really want to show him real suffering? So long, Hagenmeyer. Hey, Benoit. Benoit. There's no need to shout. What do you want? Uh, do you know the nurse on ward? No, monsieur. This is my first day here. I can't okay. wait to get my hands dirty. So blue, blue, blue. I didn't mean to get my hands dirty with the nurse. Shut up, Benoit. Okay. <laughs> right. Here, take this pressure gauge. Thank Good. you, sir. Uh, what do you want me to do? Well, keep it safe until I... Right, because we are going to get him to... What else do we go this way? Let's have a nose. Pardon me? Oh, right, so. No, he's coming along, okay. So we went for a little walk in the hospital. Whoopsies! Never mind. We're doing alright. Right. Right, here we are. We are going to Doctor? get past. Doctor? What is it now, nurse? Number two again. He won't tell me what he wants. He says you'll only talk to a man. Do I have to? That guy's nuts. <laughs> Doctor, yeah. I'm surprised at you. There's no way to talk about our clients. Okay, okay, I'll see him. But I'm telling you, he's a hypochondriac. Yeah. Hyper and a chondriac. So. Hello again. What's he want to talk about? Oh, give him a nose. Do you recognize this red nose? It's a red nose. Nah, I don't. 
Um. Well, go thanks, Doc. Thanks, Doc. Right. Hey, Benoit. Let's see if we can get the. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are you ready with that pressure gauge? Primed and ready to pump, sir. Uh, yeah. What do you want me to do with it? Uh, take Use care it of the on gumb Eric Sopmarsh. Okay. That'll keep him quiet. Because <laughs> he'll go, Doctor, I'm not getting my blood pressure. Right. I'm Dr. Stobart. Bonjour, Doctor. Have you heard of a guy called Marquet? He's in quarantine, Doc. Right behind this ear door. Marquet ear. is just the man I wanted to see. I wouldn't go in there if I was you. He has anthrax. Oh, dun dun dun. Anthrax. Have you seen any suspicious characters on the ward? Yeah, no, just in case. I have. A gorilla Ooh. and a weasel? No. This was a tatty old bear. How's the bear acting suspiciously? Well, Ooh. he was wearing a homburg. Is that against the law? No, but it's pretty weird for a bear. Don't okay. you think it's possible that the bear was a man in disguise? Yes. Well, obviously, I'm not completely stupid. But who would go to the bother of disguising himself as a bear? It's not as if it blend in with the surroundings. I checked with base to see if any bears had been reported missing from the zoo God or a traveling circus. They told me to sit tight until reinforcements arrive. I guess they're right. I'd be stupid to tackle a bear single-handed. Oh, God. Right. I have to visit my patient. What for? Routine. I have to check he's still breathing. What if he's not? I'll sign the certificate and register his bed as vacant. That's a cold and distant attitude to death. Well, I've been institutionalized to the point of godlike aloofness. The white Ooh, coat good work. suits you. Thanks. Thank you. So... Catch you later, officer. Au revoir. If you see that bear... Here we go. Rather you than me... Here we go. Marquet? Yes. We're getting somewhere. I am Marquet. I've been expecting you. You have? Well. Oh. What are you waiting for? Get it over with. I just want to know what I should do with the gem. The Lachmar gem? Yeah. Yeah. Right here in my pocket. Oh. oh. I thought you were... One of the assassin. <laughs> Not me. I never inhaled. So I don't blame you. You were sent in my place. Uh, yeah. You, you could hardly make the trip to Ireland in your condition. What should I do with the gem? Deliver it to the Grandmaster quickly. Tell me. Him that I have found the tripod <laughs> right here in Paris. Well, you have it? Not yet, <laughs> but it's been taken care of. I, I hope a couple of stooges. One that looks like a bear and a weasel, perchance. For Betty Crime. Would that be Flap and Guido by any chance? If he says no. yes, oh. no, Sam. We've met. What about the Hashashin? Uh, he's more likely to have followed Klausner. He'll stop at nothing to prevent the reforging of the sword. And that's bad, is it? As for yeah, that's bad. Klausner, that's bad. Uh, uh, he's gone off. Syria on a wild They have geese in Syria? Yeah. 
That's enough excitement for one day, Monsieur Marquet. What are you doing here? Talking to this patient, of course. Monsieur Marquet is my patient. If Herr Hagenmeier was to hear that... Okay, I'm going. I'd learned all I could from Marquet anyhow. Yeah, there you have. So we've got info there. That's perfection. Thank you, Doctor. Exits. Whoosh. How dare you are, sir. I was just coming to look for you. I finished with your pressure gauge. Thank you. Thanks, Bunny. What's that noise? It sounds as if someone's having a cardiac arrest. It's all right. The doctor's in there with him. Oh, no, he's gonna kill him. E Wait for Are you sure he was a doctor? Oui, monsieur. He showed me his ID. It was Dr. Breul. There's no Hello doctor. There. Right. Yes, we are winning. Here. Sorry about the little briefing. He's an imposter. Briefing. He's a fake. It's the door's a fake. Locked. Help me, officer. Come on. Deep. He's dead. He's gonna die. Deep. Come on. Bust Stand door. back, Monsieur. Dun, 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 dun. Boom. Oh damn! Yeah, use a gun. <laughs> hey, let's go. Shit. And he out the window like Batman. Jeez. How ironic that we're going to be doing Batman later on today. <laughs> I know, man. But back at Nico's apartment. So we've done the hospital. So now we need to get the tripod. I found Jacques Marquet. Yeah, he's dead. Did he talk? Yeah, he talked. For the very last time. He's dead. For the very last yeah. time. Killed in cold blood by a bogus doctor. That's yeah. despicable. What Dr. kind of Bull. guy would pass himself <laughs> like. off as a doctor and take advantage of a dying man? <laughs> was it I Khan? Who. No, I don't know who he was, but it certainly wasn't Khan. He got away, out the window. Yeah, rest in peace, man. Rest in peace. Oh yeah, let's tell about Labano. Do you mind if Labano sees the manuscript? I guess not. He wants mm. to come over. Shall I give him your address? Yes, that's fine. Maybe okay. he'll make sense of the manuscript. Careful, he's giving you the creeps, creepy look earlier on. He was doing the predatory stalking. Have you found <laughs> out any more about the Knights Templar? Yes, I have. The guy responsible for the downfall was Philippe IV, the King of France. Otherwise Froth? known oh, I she as said Froth Philippe there. Le Bel. I've heard of okay. it. Well, he is known to history as Philippe I, but I doubt if the Templars called him that. He's probably I'm still sure the unfair. Andre will tell you all about him. Fair enough. Let's um. Have you ever heard of the Hashi Ashin? No. Marquet yeah. said that they were his biggest enemy. Yeah. His biggest oh. enemy was the bogus doctor. <laughs> Don't remind me. <laughs> that guy was evil. Touché. He had wild, staring eyes like a dead fish. I'll never trust a doctor again. So he looked like kind of like the singing salmon that you get on the wall that plays music. That's what he looked like. <laughs> Do you think the assassin was responsible for killing Marquet? I don't think so. He could have finished him off the first time. Besides, Just sent him to do the job for him. to make he sure was he was dead. To the gills with sedatives. He wouldn't have recognized the four horsemen of the apocalypse unless they'd introduced themselves. Good point. Um, okay, so I need to get... I guess I'd better go back and talk to that weirdo. Which one? Rosso or <laughs> Sergeant Mou? Oh, but you're referring to Andre. I'll let Andre. you work it out. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you work that out. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Like I said, I do apologize for earlier on with that phone call. Cause like I said, it was to get things sorted out with my ankle. Um. So apparently since... It is Scotland after all. And in my hometown. Annoyingly, the next appointment I can get is the 22nd of April. That's freaking helpful, isn't it? So... Let's see, we need to go to the hood, the museum. Speak to Lab and go, yeah, it's fine. You, you, you welder off. You, you, you. Vamanos, go. You have left it very late, monsieur. Late for what? Anything? I am closing the museum soon. You wouldn't like to get locked in. I can tell you, not in this gallery. Why not? It is haunted, monsieur. 
You don't believe in Is ghosts, it? surely. Uh, I don't know Ghostbusters I reference in space of the last few hours. Ago, a lad managed to hide in here. He'd made a bet with his friends, I suppose. When I found him in the morning, he was cold as ice and stiff as a bone. You sure well, it wasn't a mummy? Was the cause of death? They said it was a brain tumor. But oh. on his face was a look of stark, desperate terror such as I have never seen before. Scary. Yeah. Right, so Forget talk it. to Labano first. What, talk to Labano? Get that out of the way. This is actually right about the same point when we actually had everyone jumping in and saying hello, hello and following Georgie. <laughs> and, Don't you call me Georgie. This friend right. who has the manuscript? Ah, we, oui, uh, the anonymous girlfriend. She lives at 361 Rue Jarry. Ah, I know it well. I'll drop by. As soon as, as, I, soon as can. I can. Right. Have Ask you ever him heard about the Hashashin? Hashashin? Well, yes, it was a radical Muslim sect whose name became synonymous with murder. It was formed in 11th yeah. century Persia shortly before the Crusades. At roughly the same time as the Templars. Yes, they gave a new word to our language. Assassini, the assassins. Slashing. How did the assassins get their name? From the legend surrounding the secrets of their initiation rites. A young man who sought to join the sect was given hashish until he drifted into dreams. He awoke okay. to find himself in a fabulous garden with everything he could wish for. The freshest water, the most delicious food, the choicest hash, and the most delectable women imaginable. Cool. cool. Do you have the address? Yeah. I haven't finished the story. <laughs> there was a price to pay for this taste of paradise. Wouldn't you just know it? Yeah. The young man it would out. wake the next day to find himself back in the real world. Oh, he shit, was told man. that he'd been given a glimpse of the heaven reserved for holy martyrs. A heaven oh. he would enjoy for eternity if he was willing to join the Hashashin. Jeez. That's quite intense. Like. How did the assassins operate? Well, as I explained, the new recruits would be only too willing to die for the cause. They'd be instructed in the use of the dagger, poisons, and disguise. Kind of but like Khan does. the Grand Master of the sect would name an enemy of Allah. And they'd stop at nothing to eliminate that enemy. Mm -hmm. You got it. They were fearless and deadly. Does the cult of the assassin still exist? Take a look around at the world today. You tell me. I'm gonna go with a big strong yes Can on that matter. Can you tell me anything about the Knights Templar? I sure can, Georgie. Soldiers, Georgie. diplomats, mercenaries, monks, bankers, you name it, the Templars fit the bill. The greatest hmm. fighting force in Christendom, the Militia of Christ. Jesus! Jeez. Us. Yeah. How did the Templars get their name? From the building in which they set up their headquarters. The King of Jerusalem gave them part of a mosque on the Temple Mount. It was said to have been the site of the original Temple of Solomon. The Solomon other is mentioned known in the first as the Knights of the Temple, and later the Knights Templar. You're a mine ah. of information, Andre. Ah. Glad to be of help, Georgie. I mean, you could actually slap him and you'll spew out more info. <laughs> Hang on. How come the Templars became so wealthy? So wealthy. There was a constant stream of new recruits to their ranks, many <laughs> from noble families. They were okay. required to swear a sacred oath of poverty, chastity, and Blood obedience. Oath, probably. So no their money, goods, and lands were donated to the order. The Templars soon held land in France, Scotland, England, Spain, most of Europe, in fact. The poor okay. Knights of Christ became the wealthiest power in Christendom. Cool. Thanks for your help, Andre. You're welcome. You're welcome. Right, so something tells me, because honestly I know Flip and Flap are going to be trying to get in here. We need to sneak into the sarcophagus. Okay. In you get, George. In you get. Do you have a fetish about closets, monsieur? I just love the smell of mothballs, I guess. Uh, I see what I've got to do. I see what I've got to do. I've got to interfere with that, don't I? 
ba 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 da da. Right, wait till he goes round. Cause that close it and he'll get mad and he'll. The rod turns smoothly and the window. Maybe that's when he'll go. Something's not right with that bloody window. Oh no no no! Top top! I might have to finish com. Oh no! He's looking at the switch. Let me sneak in. Hurry up! Hurry up, George! Yay! We're in! Aha! It is closing time, Monsieur Lobino. There we go. Already, there are just aren't enough hours in the day. Uh, More than enough bluff. for me. I can't wait to get home and put my feet up. Eh uh, bien, see you tomorrow. Good night, monsieur. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Hours pass. So what are you doing in the sarcophagus? Okay, okay. <gasps> Fuffin Vat, uh, I keep saying Fuffin Vat, but it's... Oh, they're after the sarcophagus. Well, no, the fucking tripod. Hey, boss. I broke down the door. Hey, Guido. Look at this. <laughs> look, look Quit at this. Quit fooling around, you moron. <laughs> Get your ass over here and bring that flashlight. Surprise, sucker. Right, so I think I've got. <sighs> what the? Who's there? Let's get out of here! Bush, shit. Okay. Ow! That was a hell of a. Whoa! Back at Nico's apartment. Who the hell? And when I woke up, I was at the police station. Yeah, Luckily, but who the I hell was that? I persuade Rosso I was innocent. Poor George. What a you okay? mess. I bungled the whole thing. I don't think so. You made a pretty good job of distracting those two crooks. Yeah. Wait, but what? the killer got away with the tripod. No, he didn't. He's not the only one who can dress up in costume. You Wait mean... a minute. It was you who stole the tripod? Oh, hell, I'm Nico. Impressed. I could have been shot. Those dogs are more likely to shit their own feet. I well, just I wish you told true. me your plans. We're supposed to be in this together. And how come you dressed I up like very... a pantomime cat? Cat, yeah. Then silk Georgie, please. Oh, rats. So. And don't call me Georgie. <laughs> oh, I really thought you'd be pleased. After all, we've got the tripod. Kind of hot, but kind of like Aren't what? Aren't you going to try putting the gem on the tripod? I guess yes. so. I guess we will. But, um... Nothing happened. Yeah. Aww. The gem fits perfectly, but what does that prove? It needs to be in a certain place, I think. Okay. So we need to find somewhere else. And Maybe once the on... tripod has to be in a certain location. There's yes. nothing on the manuscript to indicate where, though, is there? And as oh, when Andre Lobino. Way, I had a visit from Andre Lobino. Oh, yeah. Lobino. I hope you didn't mind me giving him your address. Not at all. It was lovely to see him again. Mm. He was over the moon when I showed him the manuscript. It's not often he gets that excited. He made a <laughs> sketch of the Knight's Crest to take back to the museum. I right, believe okay. he's identified the family who bear that crest. I sure hope so. Oh, yeah, well... So... Labino explained who the Hashashin were. Yeah. yeah. The cult of the assassins. Oh, boy! Oh, boy! Lovely. What about... So what else do we have to do now? I have to go. Already? You only just arrived. Time and tide wait for wait no for man. Wait for no man. Okay, like I'll see it. you later. So the question is, 
What do I do now? Where do I go now? Well. Ladies and gents, I think this would be a great opportunity to wrap up our stream.